flat top tonight, Hawk, uh, clear for takeoff. Good morning. So a lot of areas in which we operate, we do we do struggle to access 4G. For example, the Highlands of Scotland or parts of Wales. Um, so what we're going to do this morning, we're going to take the SIM cards out of our devices uh, and we're going to operate without any connectivity whatsoever. We're going to remove the SIM card from our devices, starting with our tablet. So take the battery out. Here we get access to the SIM card. I then reach for my essential toolkit, which is the wife's makeup box, locally adapted. And here we are removing the SIM card. We're going to remove the SIM card from our ACS2, which is the controller, and depressing it so that it pops out of place using our tweezers to remove the SIM card. So we're ready to take off now. We've uh, got no SIMs uh, in any of our devices. So we've got no 4G connectivity. Uh, our Wi-Fi is good. The RTK is connected. Uh, we have 98% battery, 18 liters of fluid, and we're good to go. One step back. Ready for operation. One step there. And with that, the big XAG P40 went to work without any 4G connectivity. It was business as usual. A nice steady flight, smooth, efficient turns with a nice even spray distribution. The settings we used today were in preparation for our spray drift trials later on this month. These are being conducted by the experts at the Silso Spray Applications Unit under the watchful eye of Claire butler Alice. These trials are the culmination of a year of measurements and experiments to determine the drift characteristics of this XAG drone and will pave the way for a broader spectrum of chemicals to be applied by drones in the UK. Expect an update soon.